Dino 139 is out and marks a significant update in the ecosystem, featuring the much-anticipated return of WebGPU, enhancing capabilities for graphics, gaming, and machine learning. If this is your first time hearing about it, Dino is a modern, zero-config JavaScript runtime that comes with a robust toolchain and native TypeScript support, built-in cloud primitives like KV, Qs, and Cron, and a handful of other powerful tools aimed to simplify your dev experience and help you build better products faster. The WebGPU API gives developers a low level, high-performance, cross-architecture way to program GPU hardware from JavaScript. It is the effective successor to WebGL on the web. Dino first introduced WebGPU back in 2021, but it was removed earlier this year due to performance problems. With this release, we are happy to reintroduce it with all the performance issues worked out. We've also introduced two new Dino coverage reporters for improved codebase analytics and will now default to using the coverage directory. The summary reporter is the new default, and it outputs a concise table giving you information about coverage in your branch and lines. The output of Dino coverage HTML is static, making it easy to explore code coverage in your browser. Finally, we know that migrating existing Node.js codebases to Dino can be a daunting task. One of the biggest hurdles is the fact that Dino requires you to explicitly specify file extensions in the import statements. This code would have failed in the past, but in this release, we are introducing a new unstable sloppy imports flag that allows you to omit file extensions in import statements. This allows you to quickly try out Dino on your existing Node.js codebase without having to update all the import statements. That's it for this video. Read the entire list of extensive updates in our 1.39 blog post. Thanks for watching.